This is Adam Rosh from Roshcast, and I want to welcome you to another episode of The Reveal, where I will take you inside the mind of a test taker to deconstruct and connect the dots of a board style question so you can become a better student, transform how you learn, and excel not only on high stakes exams, but also in your general medical knowledge. So let's get started. We have a 65-year-old man with a past medical history of hypertension who presents to the emergency department with tearing chest pain and abdominal pain radiating towards his back. His blood pressure is 185 over 98. Which of the following medications should be administered first? To tackle this problem, this is a two-step question, we need to first identify a diagnosis. Well, it doesn't get more classic than what we see here to make this diagnosis. We have an older gentleman, he has a history of hypertension, and he complains of a tearing chest pain, both including the chest and the abdomen, and it radiates to his back. So it it doesn't get more classic than this for the diagnosis of aortic dissection, right? One of the things that uh, I always keep in mind for aortic dissection is whenever pain extends to two areas of the body or, or more than one. So for example, we have chest pain and abdominal pain. And really, how do you get that? It's because the aorta uh, spans from the thorax into the abdomen, and that's how you extend the pain into two different areas of the body. So always keep in mind a vascular emergency when you see or hear about pain in in two different body areas. But in this case, we have aortic dissection. So what we're seeing here is aortic dissection with a patient who is hypertensive. So the question asks, which medication should be administered? Now, the key here is which medication should be administered first. Very important here. So if we look at our answer choices, let's go through. Answer choice A, aspirin. Well, we know aspirin is useful in cases of myocardial infarction or ischemia. However, aspirin here is going to uh, inhibit platelets and ultimately lead to increased bleeding potentially. And so we want to avoid that since right now, the patient's aorta has an intimal tear uh, with a hematoma in the media of the aorta. And so we want to reduce bleeding. Then let's look at something very similar to aspirin, right? An anticoagulant here or heparin. And so heparin is not going to be correct either, right? Because it also could lead to increased bleeding. And we're left with two medications here that are both vasoactive. We have esmolol and nitroprusside. So this is where the key, looking at the question again in the lead-in, which medication should be administered first? And so nitroprusside we know is very commonly used in hypertensive emergencies, and this is one of those. However, nitroprusside leads to a reflex tachycardia. That reflex tachycardia is due to the vasodilation that nitroprusside causes, and the reflex tachycardia is going to lead to an increase in aortic shearing forces. So we want to avoid that, and that is then, therefore, that is not the first medication we should administer, and I'm going to X that out. The correct answer is going to be esmolol, because esmolol is a beta blocker. It will act on the AV node uh, to also reduce heart rate. And once we reduce heart rate, we hopefully will reduce the aortic shearing forces. This should drop blood pressure somewhat as well. However, the key here is to administer esmolol first. Let's make sure that that is correct. Indeed it is. And then if we still require blood pressure reduction, we could administer nitroprusside a second. So the best answer choice for this one is esmolol. Hey everyone, before you go, if you're interested in your own QBank, whether you are an MD or DO, a PA or an MP, simply go to roshreview.com 
and sign up for a free trial. See if Rush Reviews content is right for you. Keep learning, keep working hard, and always have a sense of mission about your work. Now is your time. This is Dr. Adam Rush signing off.